Hi, my name is Michael, I'm Production Director and Head of Programming for Rocket Beans TV. Yeah, and I'm Daniel and I'm Head of Strategy at Rocket Beans TV and one of the five co-founders of Rocket Beans. Well, Rocket Beans got started actually as an accident, so we have to be that honest because um, Rocket Beans actually was a YouTube channel uh, beside our main production for a video game magazine called MTV Game One, which was on air on German television on German MTV for about eight years, right? Yes. And then um, in the meantime, we got to the attention that YouTube might be something, right? So we started to put every non-gaming shows that we had in our minds onto our YouTube channel called RocketBeans.tv. We um, started out with um, gaming content because um, gaming is still the main focus of, of our interest. Um, but we also produce shows around um, TV, board gaming, sports, cooking shows, late night shows, call-in shows. We produce up to um, six to ten hours of live content each day, starting in the morning from 10.30 with our not-so-early yeah. breakfast television program, morning show, morning show yeah. and um, stream up to 11 or 12 p.m. at night. I think the when you have to break it down, right, uh, about something special about Rocket Beans is that we just do things despite whether we can, we are professional enough to do it or not. So we just be live, be be there, be present all the time, and try the best to, I don't know, do something that that is in our minds right now. I think Rocket Beans is not about watching a finished product or a perfect product, but it's about the process of of creating this product, um, and it's. There comes in collaboration with the community and interaction with the community. So our community, our viewers, we believe most of them don't want to lean back and just just relax and consume it. But um, yeah, they want to have an have an impact. They want to have uh, have the feeling of of um, contributing to the content. We use um, Creative Cloud for empowers us on a budget to um, just use a variety of of creative tools that um, are needed to support a 24/7 broadcast channel. We use um, Photoshop and After Effects a lot for preparing our shows and preparing the assets that we use for our live shows. So lots of corner bugs and um, titles are generated in um, After Effects and then there's some editing afterwards in um, Premiere and um, Audition. We use the media um, encoder a lot because we have lots of content and we need to, to export fast and, and lots, 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 lots of content. <laughs> What I really love is that, that uh, all the products are compatible to each other. So build something in Photoshop, put it to After Effects, send it to Premiere, send it back again. Um, everything works really easy, really neat. So just drag and drop your file and then it works, right? So I think this is mainly the, the, the biggest, the biggest uh, attachment, the positive attachment for, for my workflow to all the Adobe products. Creative Cloud is quite accessible and um, that's, that's come in handy when, when you work with um, students and work with, with young people in the company who just joined because they seem to be like um, ready to go from the startup. I think many people of us just grow up with Adobe products, right? So really it's that plain and simple, so we got used to it. Um, and with all the cloud services and having everything ready into one account, this is just brilliant. We started podcasting a long time ago. Uh, we always believed that we are super funny. <laughs> um, we were wrong, but you know, <laughs> but podcast is, is still a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's